here, here's the main point of concern. China's 2017 national intelligence law states very clearly that, quote, any organization or citizen shall support, assist, and cooperate with state intelligence work in accordance with the law and maintain the secrecy of all knowledge of state intelligence work. In other words, ByteDance and also your TikTok employees that live in China, they must cooperate with Chinese intelligence whenever they are called upon. And if they are called upon, they're bound to secrecy. That would include you. In a pivotal moment for digital policy, the U.S. House of Representatives is considering a bill aimed at addressing the complex challenges posed by TikTok, the immensely popular video sharing app owned by the Chinese company ByteDance. This legislation seeks to mitigate perceived national security threats by compelling ByteDance to either divest TikTok or fundamentally restructure its ties with the Chinese parent company. Failure to comply within six months could lead to TikTok being blocked on U.S. app stores and websites, effectively removing its presence from the American digital landscape. The bill's proponents argue that ByteDance's ownership of TikTok presents significant risks, potentially allowing the Chinese government to access Americans' personal data and spread misinformation. This concern is rooted in the broader geopolitical rivalry between the US and China, with TikTok symbolizing the tension between technological innovation and national security. The debate surrounding TikTok's future in the United States highlights a complex intersection between technology, governance, and individual freedom. Advocates for the bill stress the importance of protecting American digital infrastructure and public discourse from foreign interference. They view TikTok's Chinese ownership as a gateway for potential data breaches and the manipulation of information by foreign powers, underscoring the need to defend national interests in the digital realm. Opponents of the proposed ban, however, argue that such measures threaten the dynamic community fostered by TikTok. They emphasize the app's role as a conduit for creativity, entertainment, and business, warning against the implications of censorship and the erosion of constitutional rights. This perspective advocates for a balanced approach to digital governance that respects personal freedoms while addressing security concerns. This narrative encapsulates the broader challenge of balancing security and liberty in the digital age. It underscores the role of government in regulating online spaces and the implications of technological sovereignty in a globally interconnected world. As this debate unfolds, the outcome will have profound implications for the future of digital expression, international relations, and the global media landscape. In this contentious battle over TikTok, the digital age confronts a crossroads between vibrant online expression and the realities of geopolitical tensions. As lawmakers, digital platforms, and the public grapple with these issues, the struggle to reconcile security and freedom in our interconnected world continues, marking a defining moment for the digital era. As we stand at this digital crossroads, the future of TikTok, and indeed, the broader implications for international digital policy, remains uncertain. What is clear, however, is that the outcome of this legislative battle will set a significant precedent for how we navigate the challenges of a globally interconnected digital landscape. We invite you to share your thoughts and opinions on this topic. Do you believe TikTok poses a genuine national security threat, or do you see the proposed ban as an infringement on free expression? How should governments balance the competing needs of security and personal freedom in the digital age? Drop your comments below, and let's continue the conversation. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the story and all things related to the evolving world of technology and digital policy. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and stay informed.